Breaking news. Buhari breaks silence about Biafra and Oduduwa's agitators, reveal the reason behind actions and what will be done to them. Hello, my wonderful people. We are all aware of what is currently ongoing in the country. My dear, you'll be shocked that what Muhammadu Buhari has got to say with the recent occurrence on what is going on in the country. You know, uh, for a while now, the, the matter has been ongoing with regards to Duduwa's Republic and uh, with regards to Biafia Republic. A lot of persons are saying, no, 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 we won't out. We are tired. We will not accept this. I mean, it's been a lot of um, discussion back and forth and we are we are all aware of how things have gone from bad to worse and all that is currently happening in the country how people do no longer feel comfortable in their homes and hence the Oduduwa's Republic call is louder and also the Biafra Republic's call is louder although in the east we're having a different vibe because they are chasing out the people killing and putting some in prison why in the west they stand behind their people so much so that one of the governors from the west have you know managed mandated that Oduduwa's uh, national anthem must be sung in every school as well as uh, public functions henceforth. So you see, disunity is what is going on in the in the East. As everybody, you know, maybe because of money, maybe, I said maybe, I didn't say it's because of money and whatever the reasons are. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. Buhari breaks silence about Biafra and Oduduwa's agitators, reveals reason behind and said what will be done. According to the report reaching our desk from the pocket treasures from leadership, President Muhammad Buhari has broken silence about those agitating for Biafra and Oduduwa's republic. The call for succession continues to heighten up on daily basis so as so much so that some group feel that they have politically been marginalized and need way out because President Muhammad Buhari has shown to Nigerians that he's for a set. The Nigerian government seems not to be interested in any call for sectioning as they feel that the, mes the best option for Nigerians and all is to embrace peace and, as, and unity as they will work together to see that the nation becomes restructured and strengthened together and stay as one. Muhammad Buhari, who is well known as a non is not a non-nonsense, don't tell us that. During his tenure as the head of state, then he was a no-nonsense person, disclosed that the main reason behind the action of these agitators was all down to power dispensation. He distributed that to the people, they are so obsessed to the edge of power that they want to have power at all costs and so pushing the people against the government. He said they are blackmailing the people and that he would deal with them and the government is putting structures in place to ensure that everyone who is making these things happen in Nigeria are seriously dealt with very soon. The presidency made this option call that Biafras and Oduduwa's Republic, those who are calling for the Republic, should desist this call and embrace peace so that they can have peace and everyone can have peace. Otherwise, plans are in place to ensure that they are dealt with and this call to divide the nation is no longer on their mind or in their thought pattern as the case may be. So my people, this is what President Muhammad Buhari is saying. He's saying that uh, they are ready to deal with everyone and anyone who is calling out for Biafra or Duduwa's Republic. He said they are ready to restructure the country uh, because he knows that many people are power driven. It's, it's all down to power struggle. They want to have a place in government. Hence, they are instigating people against the government saying that Biafra or Duduwa must stand now because of their personal interest. This is what he's trying to drive at, that this is the reason for the call. But truly, really, and let's be very honest and be factual with ourselves, this is not just a call for power. Maybe an underlining factor, maybe, but I don't think that is what it is. But Harry, you are missing the point. You are not understanding your people, and that's why you are not a leader. That's why you are where you are, and that's why the country, if you, if care is not taken, uh, you know, if, if if I mean, in a no distance time, the country might divide because of your inability to see that life does not begin, depend, and rotate all around you. What is going on is a call that the people have made to you countless numbers of time. What did you do? You refuse to take heed. You refuse to listen to the people. You are ruling like a dictator. You are not listening to the people. Your brothers, 
your Fulani brothers are destroying the nation, call for you to act address the nation and tell them that destroying the nation, asking for ransom is not acceptable. What did you do? You are taking sides with them, telling Nigerians that they should live at peace. But these people are killing Nigerians. I mean, let's be logical. Let's look at it together. How do you, how do you relate? How do you live at peace with somebody who's got a knife to your neck? How do you, just how do you do that? Because I don't understand it. I don't understand how you can, you know, have somebody who is ready to take your life and then you sit back and say, oh, I'm living at peace with a person. How do you, how do you, I just want to really understand how that works. You see, this is what Buhari is saying and he's saying that there are plans to, you know, that the very agitators, you can see it's already been ashed out in the East, you know, because the East, we see that, um, I mean, people that should be speaking and defending the cause of those in the East are really not doing so, if you get what I mean. Yes. Those that should really be speaking and defending the cause of the people are really not doing so. So, I mean, so they are soft targets. You know, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not aiding or supporting criminal, uh, criminality. That's wrong. If you're involved in anything that is against, um, I mean, the, the welfare life of people and all that is wrong. Okay. But not when people say their primary aim and purpose and what they are doing. First of all, they want out of Nigeria. I don't think that's a crime because there is a provision in the constitution that says if there is need for people to be agitated, if people are not happy, there is provision in the constitution that gives people the opportunity to go for a referendum. This, the government of Nigeria is trying to prevent at all costs. There is the opportunity there provided in the constitution that gives people the ability and opportunity to say we are going for a referendum is there. Okay. Okay. That being said, yes, that being said, there is also, you know, they call for them. They are saying, okay, we want to protect our borders. Oh yes, we want to protect our borders. We don't want those who, I mean, who do not mean well for us to come and start, you know, causing us pain, problem, and what have you. We want our borders protected. Hence, we do not want this set of people because of what they've been doing and what they are, what they stand for, their ideology and their belief system, especially the killer Fulani headsmen. When I mean. Ten years ago, did you hear that when there was no killer Fulani headsmen, did you hear that, you know, uh, the East wanted them out? The answer was no. It is when they became like this that people said, OK, we don't want them in our region. And it's not even only in the East that they don't want them in, the, in their region. The South, we saw the governors had a meeting. So leave us a comment. We'd like to hear from you. God bless you. Bye for now.